Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we are talking about stolen iPhones and more specifically, I'm going to try to quickly answer a question that I've gotten a lot recently. And that is how do you track a stolen iPhone? So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off guys, really quick video, really not a lot of steps involved. So be sure to stick around to the end of the video, but why would you want to track a stolen iPhone? Well, that's pretty easy. Maybe you invited someone over to your house and you were having drinks and they slipped something into your drink and then you fell asleep and you didn't wake up until the next morning only to find that your iPhone was stolen and now you're trying to track your stolen iPhone. Whatever the case is, it's a pretty easy process and it's on the iCloud website for Find My. Usually you're going to go ahead and go through this app called Find My. However, if someone stole your iPhone, obviously you don't have that. Be sure to check my video description. I'll try to leave the written instructions there as well. First, what you want to do is you want to go to Google and you can use an iPhone. You can use a laptop. It doesn't even need to be an Apple product. You can use a regular PC. If you happen to be close to an internet cafe, or something like that, ask somebody to use their computer right away. So let me switch on over to my browser now. Okay, guys, I went ahead and switched over to Google. First thing what you want to do is type in in Google search, find my iPhone. Okay, I just typed in find my iPhone and make sure you verify the website you're going to. You don't want to go to a fraud website. So this one is real because it's iCloud.com or you can go to this one, apple.com. Generally, I'll log in through iCloud. So let me click on this top one, iCloud.com, find my iPhone. Okay, so you're probably using using someone else's phone or their computer. So you're going to need to remember your Apple ID and your password. Usually your Apple ID is going to be your email address. I've never seen an Apple ID that wasn't an email address. So I'm going to enter my email address now. Okay. So I entered my email address. They are asking for your password. So you do need to remember that. If you don't remember your password for some reason, go through this function and you will need to recover your password from Apple. Don't send any messages to your phone number because they've stolen your iPhone. So you don't want anything going to that phone. So I entered my password in right here and I'm going to click continue. Okay. So I went ahead and logged in and then you're going to see a map of your devices, including your stolen iPhone. If that person has the phone on, unfortunately, a lot of times they're going to turn the phone off. So you're not going to be able to track it. However, you can still go into your iPhone that was stolen and then you can go ahead and make changes and lock it. But if you're simply looking to track a stolen iPhone, you can zoom around on this map and it's going to show you the most recent location of your stolen iPhone. That is unless you set your phone up to keep pinging the location even if the battery has been turned off. Now, if you want more details about that particular stolen iPhone, just click on the name of the phone. So for example, mine is named Penguin. Okay, so I zoomed in and I can see my phone named Penguin. And then if you're just tracking your stolen phone, you wanna be sure to put it into lost mode immediately. But once again, I wanna reiterate that if you are looking to track a stolen iPhone, you don't need to track it on an Apple device. You can use someone's computer, you can use your friend's phone, even if it's a Google phone or something else. Else. So there you have it, guys. If you're looking for information on how to track a stolen iPhone, that's the easiest way I know how to do it. If you know an easier way, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know how you did it. Hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel and I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.